there making a show of yourselves in front of everybody. What's going on? And this little lad, what type of example do you think you're setting him, eh? It wasn't us who started it. Chesney's coming out the house and he saw the two of them. Yeah, and then went off on one again. He was upset. <sighs> He's accused her of neglecting Joseph. Which is rubbish. And nobody asked you. No, thanks, Ryan. It's nice to see someone standing up for me. When you're in the right, I'll stick up for you. Yeah, yeah all right. Everybody just calm down. He's upset and he, he, he's threatened to batter him. <laughs> what a joke. Think it's funny, do you? Um, don't blame Ryan. Chez was the one trying to bait him, not the other way round. Yeah, but by the way he's seeing it, he's looking after Joseph while you two are off. Well, he wasn't supposed to be, was he? I left Joseph with you, Anna, not Chesney. You shouldn't have let him take him. He's his dad! And anyway, don't you reckon you got a cheek standing there telling Anna what she should and shouldn't be doing? She was doing you a favour. Joseph is your responsibility. All right, Owen. No, it's fine. Let's stay at yours tonight, can't we? Hey. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They come as a package. You do realise that, don't you? Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's fine. Good. I'll go and get my things then. Oh, uh, no, Katie, don't be daft. You know I love having him. No, it's all right. I wouldn't want anyone to think I was shirking my responsibilities. We don't. Keep an eye on him, won't you? This is all very nice, isn't it? It reminds me of the house my gran used to live in when I was little. Uh, that rooms tend to be a bit poor. I think we should go back. <gasps> back? Well, I thought you were keen to meet him. Yes, well, but in all probability, he's no longer even resident. We just end up disturbing people for no good reason. I'm sorry, Roy, but wanting to meet your father is very good reason. Please, we've come this far. Yes, and maybe that's far enough. Besides, one must also consider the, the huge potential for disappointment, given the circumstances. Roy, is your dad. He wants to see you. I'm sure he won't disappoint. It wasn't my disappointment to which I was alluding. This is something you have to do, Roy. Not for St. John, but for yourself. You'll regret it if you don't. Besides, I think we've been spotted. Sure, no problem. Yeah, carrying the bags the easy bit. Having to get up three times in a night is when the going gets tough. That's fine. Right, come on, let's go. Oh, no, look, just wait. Can't you just apologise? Apologise for what? He's never in the wrong, you should know that. Please, Owen. Anna, I'd save your breath. No, Katie, wait. <sighs> Sorry, is this a bad time? Yeah. No. Oh, come on in. Hey, look at you, looking all pleased with yourself. Dad paid for me to go on a school trip. Really? That's great. Come into some money, have you, mate? Yeah, I have. Just came to get her wellies. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, you better get a waterproof as well. It's going to be so cool. <laughs> yeah, it's mm. going to be great. I'm sorry, but if it's vacuum cleaners or religion, I'm afraid we're not interested. Oh, oh no, absolutely. Um, actually, um, I wondered if you might help us. Um, we're looking for a Mr. St. John Cropper. St. John? Cropper, yeah, yes. Um, I I'm Royston Cropper, his son. Uh, I hope you don't mind only um, um, he um, sent a letter to Roy. That was two years ago. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's only just received it, you see. It went to the care home where Sylvia, and that, that's where his mother was. Only no one passed it on. And then Dorothy, who's Sylvia's friend, well, she, oh, well actually, you know, none of that really matters. Um, the, the point is, he's only just read it. So that's why we're here, because of Roy's dad's, uh, Mr. Cropper's letter. I take it you're Mrs. Cropper? Yes, I am. You better come in. Oh, I feel like a whole weight it's been lifted. At least now we're getting somewhere. Yeah, that's off to Gloria. Hey, no one can't be too happy. I'm mean, going to swallow ten grand. Yeah, well, he's a businessman. He knows it makes sense to get whatever he can. Yeah, but your gran has agreed we pay fixtures and fittings. How she thinks I am going to afford... Mom, come on. She's been brilliant. Yeah, it'll be fine. How is it going to be fine? How can I open up a pub without a bar, tables, chairs? We'll get it sorted, don't worry. Whatever it takes, I'm going to get you back in that pub. 
I'll make some calls, see what it'll cost to get some second-hand stuff. No, oh, well, however much it costs, it's going to be too much. Well, I will be on the case 24-7, trust me. Oh, you're going to have to be, now that Grand's volunteered you for free labour and all. <laughs> well, I'm happy with that. Hey, let's raise our glasses. Yeah. Drink a toast. I wouldn't have to thought you'd have anything to celebrate, unless it's getting back in my mother's good books. Oh, Leanne. Yeah, well, we do. Cos Gloria's paid off Owen, so we can reopen the pub again. Just need some tables and chairs. Gloria, out. Eric. Hey, have you heard this? Sugar Granny's only gonna pay the debt off. She had the money all along. Great. Uh, table two, waiting for their desserts. <sighs> you know, when I think of the way she spoke to me... Oh, no wonder she's not showing her face, so why didn't she cough up in first place? She had her reasons, just like you had your reasons. The most important thing is, she did cough up, which I am very grateful for. So just drop it, Leanne. Come and sit down and have a drink. No, you're all right. Table two near the dessert. To going home. To, to going, going home. home. How's the happy couple? You're not going to say anything, are you? I promised, didn't I? Yeah, you did. You OK? Good. I'll... Um... I'll see you. Yeah, see you. Tommy. Thanks. He's not going to say anything. You sure? Yes, he just said. I hate sitting here pretending everything's all right. <laughs> Snap. Yeah, well, believe me, you can't make me feel any worse than I already do. Look, I know what I did. And if Izzy finds out, I know that I'll lose everything. Oh, get a grip of yourself, right? We're not going to say anything, me or Tommy. So, what are we talking about? Um, I'm just saying I feel a bit tired, so I might go home for an early night. Oh. I know, sorry. Oh, don't be daft. I'm just really glad we cleared the earth. Yeah, me too. All right, see you. See you. Lots of books. You've got a lovely home. <laughs> How long have you lived here? We only moved recently. Our eldest boy lives quite close by. Our other son went back to live in New Zealand. And our daughter lives in Cornwall. It's very pretty and lovely in the summer, but a long way from Blackburn. <laughs> Not as far as New Zealand. <laughs> oh, no. Is that them? Oh, this was taken on St John's 70th birthday. That's Jonathan and Stephen, and that's our Isabel. Oh, very nice. He always used to say there was nothing more important than family. Really? Sorry, you, you said he used to say. He always used to say. I am so sorry. Is something wrong? He wanted to see you very much. Sorry, uh, are you...? He's dead, isn't he? Three months ago. St John missed England too much. He always used to say New Zealand's a great place to live, but I don't want to die here. Oh, I don't suppose we'd have stayed as long as we did, but he knew how much the children loved it. Well, as, as you say, a, a family man. He thought of you. Often. So he told you about Roy? Uh, back then, I mean. It weren't easy for him to walk away. He always worried you'd think it was. Sometimes it'd be... Haunted by it. Other times he'd be just so sad, thinking that maybe you wouldn't remember him at all. I'm not sure what you thought was worst. So why now? Why contact Ray after all these years? As we get older, we want to put right all the things we've done wrong in our life. He wrote the letter, knowing that in all likelihood you wouldn't want to know him, wouldn't be able to forgive him. I mean... How could he make it up to you? But he hoped, I suppose. There was always hope. When he didn't hear back from you, at the end he was forced to resign himself. He went to his grave believing that you couldn't forgive him. And each time's named after a bird, Aww. I'm in Stalin. And we've got bunk beds. Oh, it sounds great, doesn't it, Owen? Yeah. Come on, let's get going. Right, well, take care and have a good time, yeah? Here we go. Thanks for the wellies. 
You know, it's a wonder he doesn't wander around on a white charger. Yeah, well, she's happy. That's the main thing. It doesn't matter who's responsible, does it? Well, it does as it happens, love. Because the more she thinks he's some kind of flaming hero, the more likely she is to want to stay there. Please tell me you didn't give him the money. Oh, what? Oh, well, I could just stand by, cut her and see no, her we unhappy. agreed that if he was left to his own devices, Faye would see what effectless... You do want her back, don't you? Of course I want her back. Yeah, well, you've got a funny way of showing it, love. Where are you going? Oh, don't be angry. I'm not. I'm not, love. I just... I got some stuff to do with the yard. Owen! You OK? Yes, yes, of course. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. You need me promise that, should you ever respond to the letter, I would give you this. He'd play with it for hours. Neither of the boys were interested. I had one like this as a boy. In Brunswick Green. Ah. I seem to remember I spent the whole of one summer recreating the 24 Arts Ribblehead Viaduct, especially for it. <laughs> I'm afraid I can't accept it. Roy. Right. I'm sure one of your grandchildren oh, would. Oh, no. We wanted you to have it. Please. Oh, I'm glad you came. Yes. Well, uh, I'm sorry for your loss. And I'm sorry for yours. We all need to chip in together if we're going to get the pub up and running. No way. Chip will be the word if I get these nails near a building site. Oh, for goodness sake. I'm joking. As if I'd pass up a chance to be surrounded by fit builders. <laughs> Ew. Apart from Owen. Oh, and Carl. Right, well, I'm a dab band with paint rollers, so I'll show you the ropes. What about Gran? Oh, no, not so much with the hands on. I think she fancies herself as the brewery version of Lawrence Well and Bowen, <laughs> with her mood charts and her colour schemes. <laughs> Any luck? Oh, no, but he said he'd ask around. I mean, this pub's been turning to flats all the time, so there's bound to be some developer who wants to offload stuff. Yeah, but how much is that going to cost? Well, we'll find out what we need, and then we'll get the money to get it. OK. And then it's going to be a fresh new start for us all. Oh, just hold on a minute. Um, Nick, I don't want to seem ungrateful, but I think your mother should find herself a new apprentice. Really? You sure you don't want to stay any longer? Not if she wants to see her next birthday, no. <laughs> you two made such a good team. Oh, thanks. <laughs> oh, Mum, just wait. Table four. Thanks. Listen, I just want to say I'm really glad you got the pub back. And it was never about giving you the money. I just didn't want him getting his hands on it. Oh, Leanne, you've got to let it go. Carl is not after the pub or my money. Listen, I know him better than anybody else, and I know I can trust him. He's changed. I don't expect you to believe it, but, but, but he has. I think, now I know, we can be happy. All right, fine. Listen, if you need any help getting things finished off at the pub, then I'll lend you the money. Really? Yeah. Five grand cover it? I, d I don't need that much. Well, it's there if you need it. You. Oh, thanks, love. <laughs> Thank you. It was lovely to meet you. <laughs> you too. Goodbye. You've got family here, Roy. Yes, Should you yes. Have... Thank you. Oh, my God. Oh, he's buried in the Redbrook Road Cemetery. It's just along the main road there. If you felt you wanted to... Oh, yes, thank you. Thank you. Oh, Roy, I'm so sorry. Well, there's no need. We've accomplished what we set out to do. We have answers to our questions. Well, that's just it. You don't, do you? Not the important ones, anyway. Hey, but at least you know you've got brothers and a sister that you're part of this big new family. On paper, certainly. But we both know that is a club to which I could never belong. 
You know, we could pop into the cemetery now. They, they'll I, still be open. I, I don't think so. Oh, no, no, they open late in the summer, I think. I, I mean, I don't wish to. Well, it seems daft, seeing as we're here, and, and it might help you. Give it's, you some... it's been a long day. I, I'd like to go home, please. I do think he's really sorry, you know. Sorry for trying it on, or sorry that you knocked him back and he done what he did to find out? Well, he said the first one. Mm. Listen, I've got two months before there's an actual baby, right? We need them to be OK, for everyone's sake. Yeah, well, you shouldn't be the one having to deal with keeping their relationship together. Listen, I know you had to bite your tongue in there. I gave you my word. I know that hasn't always meant much in the past, mm. but... That's the past. Is it? Look, if I didn't trust you, I wouldn't have told you about Gary, would I? They don't deserve you. Nope. But who does? <laughs> night, night. Night. Oh, Tina. Yeah? Make sure you heat the milk first, and then put the chocolate in. Oh, there you are. Cuppa. Please. So, how was he? Bald, I expect. Ran in the family on his father's side. Another reason to be grateful that you inherited more of my genes than his. <laughs> Would you like a cup of tea, Sylvie? Uh, no, no, thank you. No, I've taken the liberty of pouring myself a, a small glass of sherry. Emphasis on the small, lest you should think I'm turning into Gloria Price. <laughs> Drinking alcohol in your carpet slippers can be an advanced warning, by all accounts. Uh, sit down, So please. you met the wife, presumably? Men like St. John, they can't survive on their own. They need a woman on their arm to prove their virility. Though, at his age, I don't suppose there was much point either way. He's dead. He's dead. Heart attack. V very quick, by all accounts. Yes. Well, as we know, St. John was never one for hanging around. Margaret, his wife, it said he didn't suffer. Pity. Well, I think this calls for a, a cream slice, if you'd be so kind. Well, for really. goodness sake, Mother! Another human being has lost his life. Um, St John left this for Roy. Well, that old thing. Actually, hugely collectible. As you can see, he took great care of it. Perhaps we were more alike than you or I would like to think. You are nothing like him. He was a coward who shirked his responsibilities. You are nothing like him. And if you try to make excuses for him, I will never forgive you. I've got to drink it. <laughs> yeah, I'll make a fresh one. No, it's fine. I'm sorry for earlier. But I want back as much as you do, where she belongs. But what if she never wants to come back to us? Because, I mean, let's face it. You know, if she was really happy, she'd never wanted to go in the first place. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. No, you, you're not doing anything wrong, love, you. You're a great mum. Then why is Faye gone? Katie's gone. Gary and Izzy Gary are just... and Izzy are going to be fine, OK? They all are. we just got to keep strong, that's all. We will pull through this, I promise. OK? Even as a boy brooded, when St. John left, didn't shed a tear. Well, not that I could see, just... just the brooding. Would you like to talk about your dad for a bit? I, I just think it might help, you know. I don't think it can be good for you to keep it all bottled up like this. If you could well, just get it well, out well, and... Why, in this society, are we obsessed with getting things out in the open? Why this need to prostrate ourselves? To lay bare the minutiae of our every emotion? And so by, by giving it voice, it will somehow make it disappear, vaporise, be as if it never existed. 
I had no desire to read that letter. No, I know that. But... When one is abandoned, there is a void as a child, even as a teenager, and, and a desire for that relationship which no longer exists. And there are, as you rightly suppose, many unanswered questions. But all of this, I'm glad to say, is diluted by age, healed by time. And I can honestly say that I was contented. I know that, but he wanted to see you. Yes, and... yes, yes, and I, I allowed myself to be intrigued by what he might have to say. But now I'll never know. But you had to read the letter. How could you not? Well, easily. At first, very easily. But, but, but you, you pushed and, and you pushed and... Well... Now I'm no longer contented. I am so, so sorry. I only ever did what I thought was best for you. If, if I'm in any way to blame for Wait, it... You, you, you are. You are, Hayley. You are to blame. I did warn you. Well, next, she's battled prejudice and sexism to get ahead in the force, but what Denise hasn't banked on is a case from the past coming back to haunt her. It's about to have a huge effect on her personal life too, in Life of Crime. <laughs> 